ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಚ ಕಿಂಧು ವಿವಶ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಶ್ನಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶೆ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುನ್ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೋಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೇತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಭವಾದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಂಪಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಂ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕರು ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯುತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭೂತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ಭರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹಿತೆ ಸಂಬೀತ್ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಜಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಭಕ್ತಿರ್ಭಗವತಿ ಅಕಿಂಚನ ಸರ್ವಗುಣೈಸ್ತತ್ರ ಸಮಸತಿ ಸುರ ಹರೌ ಅಭಕ್ತಶ್ಚ ಕುತೋ ಮಹದ್ಗುಣ 
मनोरथी न सतो धबतो वही जस्ति भक्तिर्भगवती अकिंचन सर्वगुण स्तत्र सतीश्वरा हरो अभक्त कुतो महदुण मनोरथी न सतो धबतो वही गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा परमंस जगदगुरु टोल्ड बाय एक्सटर्नल कैलकुलेशन यू कैन नॉट रियलाइज अ साधु गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा परमंस जगदगुरु टोल्ड बाय योर एक्सटर्नल कैलकुलेशन बाय योर एक्सटर्नल एस्टिमेशन You cannot understand a real Vaishnav. It is not possible. Our sense organ, our material intellect, nothing can help us to realize a pure Vaishnav. In Shastra, it is written, Vaishnav chinite nare devere shakti. Even demigods, they cannot. Even demigods, they cannot realize a. वैष्णव प्योर वैष्णव वेरी डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज डिमी गॉड्स दे आर विद इन दिस एरिया ऑफ फोर्टीन वर्ल्ड बट वैष्णव एनी वे नॉट विद इन दिस एरिया ऑफ दिस फोर्टीन वर्ल्ड दे आर बियॉन्ड दिस मेटेरियल लिमिट ऑफ प्राकृत दे आर ऑलवेज ऑफ प्राकृत दे आर थिंकिंग दे आर Everything, all their action, their everything, they are a prakito, and also we know a prakito vastu kovu prakito gochan nae. A prakito vastu kovu prakito gochan nae. Regarding a prakito vastu, if you like to play your brain, if you like to, you know, apply your All capacity, you cannot run it. A prakito vastu kovu prakito gochan noy. It is impossible. So, sir, the Pope has told. First of all, if we approach a Guru Vishnu, one Guru Vishnu, we will have to depend upon a prakito sabda Brahma. अप्राकृत शब्द ब्रह्म अप्राकृत शब्द ब्रह्म ट्रांसेंडेंटल साउंड वाइब्रेशन कमिंग आउट फ्रॉम द माउथ ऑफ दैट डिबोटी डोंट ट्राई टू कैलकुलेट एनीथिंग डोंट ट्राई टू पास एनी रिमार्क नथिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिकॉज आवर मेटेरियल एस्टिमेशन इज टोटली डर्टी वी लाइक टू सी इज वेरी नाइस लुकिंग और नॉट टॉल फिगर और शॉर्ट फिगर और ब्लैक एंड वाइट हुई ऑरिजिन इज अफ्रीकन और इंडियन और ही इज दिज आर हाउ मच एडुकेशन हाउ मच एडुकेशन दे आर विथ माई गुरु फात पद्म बिकॉज आई एम एडुकेटेड ना दिस काइंड ऑफ एस्टिमेशन गोइंग टू पुस आस गोइंग टू पुस आस इन टू हेल्प big problem this kind of estimation material estimation going to throw us inside hell in hell so propat always speaking always suggesting if you like to approach one pure guru vishnu don't try to see with your eyes don't try to see with your eyes nothing If you first try to see with your eyes, oh, oh, that's mean uh, like this. That's mean you are going to be cheated. What you can understand? If you approach Bangsidas Bawaji Maharaj, what you can understand? If you approach Bangsidas Bawaji, what you can understand? <laughs> Nothing. You can see only with kopan, kopin, one sadhu, big big beards, no cloth, nothing. You know, it's like beggar, like crazy man. You can estimate. That's why Prabhupada, when somebody going to ask Prabhupada, we can go to, uh, you know, take darshan of Sila Bangshidas Baba Ji Maharaj. But no, don't go. Can we go to take darshan of Bangshidas Baba Ji Maharaj? That side, 
Don't go. Why, why? Don't go. If you go there, you cannot understand what he is doing. What he is doing, you cannot understand. And you can misunderstand. And misunderstand means, if you are going to misunderstand a pure Vaishnava, that means 100% you have fallen down. 100%, nobody, no father can check you. No father can save you, Vaishnava Parada. Even mentally. Even mentally, you know. Our Sochi Mata is an international mother, universal mother. Mother ship there. And not only that, but also she is the mother of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Paratpura Kileshwar, Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Still, when the first when the first son gone from house, Bisharup, you can remember. When the first son gone from house, he was thinking Adhaita Gosai is responsible for that. It is only because of this you know, reason, I mean, my first son, elder son, used to go to get the association of Advaita Gosai. So, and now he developed detachment and he leave, you know, going to leave us and gone. Oh, Advaita Gosai, you know, mentally, not speaking anything, only mentally. But Gorang Mahapu sitting inside heart. He could realize my mother making mistake. My mother going to commit afrath unknowingly, knowingly. Then when the question of giving prema, when Mapu manifested, you know, affluences, oh everybody come. I can give blessing to you. Then everybody speaking, you give to I I Sachima, but no, I cannot give. Why? She has done offense. Offense? Come on. She is a you know, universal mother. You is your, your mother. How possible? She has done offense under the lotus feet of Adhaito. Adhaito Gosai. I cannot give. By hearing, Adhaito Gosai gone faint, 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 you know, unconscious. Fell unconscious down. Immediately, Sachi Devi going to catch the lotus feet of Adhaita Gosai and take dust particle. Then all offense gone. If Adhaita Gosai not going to lose, if Adhaita Gosai not going to lose his consciousness, anyway, he can never allow Sachi Ma to touch the lotus feet. Cannot allow. How possible? This way, Adhaita Gosai going to lose consciousness. Eh, felt unconscious, immediately Sochimata is going to take dust body. Finish. Follow. So even the mother of Gauranga Mahaprabhu cannot be excused. And even in Shasta Chaitanya Bhagavad you can find, it is written, Vindavan writing, even Sankar Bhagavan, Vaishnavanam Jathasambhu, Nimnaganam yatha ganga devanam achyuto yatha. Vaishnavanam yatha sambhu purananam, purananam tu idam bhagavatam. Even Sankar Bhagavan going to make commit offense unto the Lotus Feet of Guru Vaishnav, even he cannot get any excuse. He cannot get any excuse. It is written. Shulopani samo jadi adhikari hoi. Shulopani mean? Shul means trident in hand. Trident means sambhu. Vaishnavanam yatha sambhu. Nimnaganam yatha ganga devanam achyuto yatha. Vaishnavanam yatha sambhu. Purananam tu idam bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran is the topmost evidence. Here it is written Shankar Bhagavan is topmost Vaishnava. Topmost Vaishnava. Even he is going to make any offense and do to speed up, you know, Guru Vaishnava cannot be. Durvasa? Durvasa is coming from Sankar. Durvasa is the avatar of Sankar. I mean, coming from Sankar. So when Durvasa making mistake and do a lotus feet of Ambarish Maharaj, who is going to save him? 
Remember, eh? when Durvasa is going to make offense unto lotus feet of Ambarish Maharaj, who is going to save him? He is running here and there. No security, nowhere. Even gone to Sankar, Brahma, even gone to Bhagavan Vishnu, you save me. No, I cannot save. You will have to go to the original place uh, where, where your offense developed. You will have to go there. You go to Ambaris. Are you running and coming? Oh, King Abd, what you are doing? You are great Rishi. I am a small man. He prostrate Tandavad, you excuse me. Then Ambaris Maharaj requesting, then Ambaris Maharaj requesting to Sudarshan, Sudarshan Chakra. Will, will, Sudarshan. Please, if I have done any, you know, seva, I have done any, you know, seva, bhakti, anything good, I like to give all the result of my, that, you know, activity to this Durvasa. In, in lieu of that, in exchange of that, you will have to, you will have to excuse this Rishi, I pray. Then Sudarshan going to stop and go away. Follow. So, Popad used to say that whenever you like to approach a Guru Vaishnava, don't try to apply your material sense organ, material brain, material intellect, nothing. You will have to go, you will have to approach a Vaishnava, you know, and pay Randavad, and you will have to depend upon your, you know, Aprakita Shabda Brahma, Aprakita Shabda Brahma coming out from the lotus mouth of that Vaishnava, you wait. Because the, this is the only arrangement, this is the only arrangement by Bhagavan. Only oral reception power. Only oral reception power. By the help of this, we can catch a Prakita Sabda Brahma. This is the arrangement of Bhagavan. And what this ear can accept, all other sense organs cannot accept. Follow. What ear can accept, all other sense organs cannot accept. Follow. Eyes cannot catch sound vibration. Tongue cannot sound vibration, nothing, nothing. This way, the only opportunity reserved, the only opportunity reserved by Bhagavan. That if somebody is going to hear Shabda Brahma from the lotus mouth of a pure devotees, this sound vibration, you know, can go through this ear and go inside her and clean heart, can clean heart. There is a system. That is why Mahaprabhu told Cheto Darpana Marjana Bhavama. Sankirtan. Sankirtan, you cannot, by a mouth you cannot, Sankirtan by ear. So, this is the, you know, suggestion by Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Krishna Vijayagur Prabhupada. Whenever you go, you depend upon a practice of Sabda Brahma coming out from the lotus mouth of the Krishna. Don't try to apply all your sense and you know, other sense organ. Then you can come out successful. Otherwise, you can fall down. You can go to a Krishna. You cannot understand. You can come back and you can make mistake or gone. There is a system. This way we can. The sloka I start with is very important sloka. Jashasti bhakti bhagavati akinchana. Akinchana bhakti. Akinchana bhakti means nirguna bhakti. Akinchana bhakti means nirguna bhakti. Nirguna bhakti means no reason. There is no self interest. There is no reason for why you are going to love bhakti. You love Bhagavan, there is no self-interest. Nirguna Bhakti, those devotees having Nirguna Bhakti, you cannot understand their activities. 
they cannot understand. Yasyasti bhakti bhagavati akinchana sarva gunais tatra samasati suraha. All demigods with all their good qualities are going to stay inside that pure devotee in, in Nirguna Bhakti who is having. And those who are material people or not at all devotee, only in the uniform of devotee, only in the uniform of devotee, not actual devotee. For them, there is no possibility that they, that, that they can have there is no possibility that they can have this kind of aprakita qualities. Because aprakita qualities you cannot buy from market. Aprakita qualities you cannot go to market and buy some aprakita quality. Aprakita quality automatically develop by pure Guru Vaishnava Seva. Automatically. You cannot buy from market. You have manpower, money power, so you can get not that. But foolish world. Foolish, you know, society award, they have no conception about who is Vaishnava, who is not Vaishnava. They are no, no, nothing. All gone. The standard almost gone to zero level. Almost gone. Almost. They are no consciousness. Ah, everything okay. What do you mean by? Almost zero consciousness. You no, know, all over the world. This, this kind of situation. They don't understand. What is Achar, Acharan, Adarsha, Siddhanta? Nothing. They are not going to involve. Only there, only false sentiment. False ego. False sentiment. This much they have. So, Jasyasti Bhagavati, Jasyasti Bhakti Bhagavati Akinchana, Sarva Guna is Tatra Shama Sati Suraha. All demigods with all good qualities are going to stay inside him. Haru Avaktaksa, those who are not actual devotees of those who are not actual devotees of Bhagavan, how they can expect, how we can expect that good quality can be there in them? How? Because they are sitting in the chariot of mental plane. Plane, you know, aeroplane, mental, rock chariot of man. A mental chariot, they are sitting and traveling, they have, you know, traveling around, wandering around in this material world. Where Koli always playing some game with you. Koli always playing some game with you. Follow. This is a condition. In Kurukshetra, there was Surya Parag, you know? Surya Parag, you don't know. Solar eclipse. So all they get together and the all Rishi Munis, all demigods, they all started coming. All to pay Dandavat. But now is the scope. He's not inside, he's, you know. Though so everybody coming, all Rishi Munis, they are going to pay Dandavat. All Rishi Munis, they are coming to pay Dandavat. All kings, all everybody. And among them, Koli also coming secretly with nice dress. Koli is black, very, very dirty looking. Koli is coming. Everybody going to pay Dandavat. Koli is also paying Dandavat. Koli asking Prabhu, when I can get control over this world, how long? Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, you will have to wait because I am there. Now I am there. When I am there, you have no right. When I can go away, then you can. Big problem. There are so many uh, Siddhanta Vichar, I don't like to speak right now. I can discuss after. So Koli asking, Prabhu, how long? When I can come and take control over the world, I can come after, not now. Now I am there. So this way, Koli always going to play some game with you. Everywhere. He can spare nobody. He can spare nobody. Everybody is influenced by Kali. Only those who are Akinchana Bhakta, Niskinchan Bhakta, Koli cannot touch them. 
Even somebody going to play some trick with them, then they can go to water. They cannot do. They can try to make some so many mistakes. No one so any problem. Ultimately, they can go to water. They cannot do anything. Follow. Shadayam Hidayam Yasu. It is Niti Shastra, not Niti Shastra, very important. Shadayam Hidayam Yasu. Bachaha Shattabhushitam. Kayaha Parahita Yasu. Somewhere it is written. Kamaha Kayaha Parahitam Yasu. Kalihi Tasso Karoti Kim. What Kali can do? What Kali can do? So it is applicable only for pure Vaishnava. It is this formula is only applicable for pure Vaishnava, not for Shadayam Hidayam Jasho. Shadayam Hidayam Jasho. Bachaha Shattabhushitam. Kayaha Parahitam Jasho. Kalihi Tasya Karoti Kim. What Kali can do? Eh? Whose heart is always open to do something good for all in a fallen soul. Who is trying? All fallen souls like to help them to come by any way. By any way. Follow. This is the plan. This is the plan and program of pure Guru Vishnu. Somehow, their heart is very loveful. They love all pure Guru, they all love all bonded soul. Somehow they are playing some, you know, arrange this way so that they can do something for those common soul, common bonded souls. So, Sadayam Hidayam Jasso, he whose heart is always open and crying to do something for others. Sadayam Hidayam, Sadayam always open, very merciful. And what is speaking? All absolute truth. What is speaking? All absolute truth. Follow. Shadayam Hidayam Jasso, Bachaha, what is speaking? All absolute truth. Not going to take help of any, any politics, any game, any falsity, nothing. And whose body is always busy, on he whose body is always busy to do something for others. I mean for Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan. So who is this Vaishnava? So what Koli can do? What, what harm? What harm Koli can do for him? Because he is Vaishnav. Follow. So, so you should remember that Koli wanted to ask Bhagavan. Bhagavan said, not now. So now every corner of the world, every corner of the every room, every every place, all corners of the world, there is Kali. Unnecessary. No reason there. Why they are going to attack me? No reason. I can attack. What to do? Follow. You, you even you cannot imagine. What is the game of Kali? I wonder. <laughs> I've done I've done nothing mistake that day. I was just, I am not opening library, very, very rare. I am doing something. Then one man from electric office coming to take meteoriting. I am not saying that he is making meteoriting and going on, keeping the bill. But that, that day specially, I was there. He is asking so many things. They you do is, do they give me chairs, this, this, so much. After that, he make wrong reading wrong meter reading and make a big bill and give to me. I say, how it is possible? I am not staying there. Whole Karthik, one and a half month, I was not there. This kind of bill not possible. Then you check up again, you check up. Oh, oh my meter reading was wrong. Then who can give the bill? I ask him, who can give the bill? 
you make mistake, I will have to pay the bill. Why? For what reason? I go to the office. The officer speaks something, so you see nothing. No, for nothing, no problem happening. For nothing, this kind of problem happening. So always, I have done nothing. I give a you know, chance to some man. Okay, you can say he started uh, making problem. Taxi get take get control over Gosala, fighting with me. Unnecessary. No reason, no. I never wanted to get anything from them. There's a Koli. So Koli cannot stand if you are pure Vaishnava. If you are pure Vaishnava, Koli cannot do anything. But if there is impurity, if you are not Niskinchan Bhakta, then Koli can fight with you, can put you in trouble, so much problem can happen. So, bonded soul usually sitting in the chariot, mental chariot, and traveling here and there in the fields, in the fields of enjoyment. Shabda, Sparsa, Rup, Rasgandha. Shabda, Sparsa, Rup, Rasgandha. Five, those are the five basic elements of enjoyment. Any enjoyment you do, any kind of enjoyment you can do in your, in your life, any kind. But basically, if you go back, you can see any out of, the, out of these five must be there. Shabda, Sparsa, Rup, Rasgandha. Follow. So this is the this is the condition of bonded soul. Bonded soul always traveling here and there to enjoy. To enjoy. This is their goal. This is their goal. How we can enjoy. So long as we are living, we can enjoy to the to the fullest extent. We like to enjoy our life. But a pure Vaishnava, if you like, you can see, they always like to do something for Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan. They always, every fraction of second, they like to utilize, they like to utilize for the seva of Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan. Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan they are doing. Actually, Today is the Abhirbhav Tithi of my Guru Pat Padma, Sisila Sadananda Swamiji. With great respect, I am going to speak this name, though I have no right to speak this name. So purity is there in him. He is so pure, even I have no right to speak his name. But still I have to speak, because Guru Vaishnav, if I remember Guru Vaishnav, speak about Guru Vaishnav, then I can get delivered from the material because it, it is written in Shastra. Vaishnaver Gunogan Korile Jivetran. What is written? Bengali, you understand Bengali. Korile Vaishnaver Gunogan. If I am going to glory if I am going to glorify a pure Guru Vaishnava, I can get rescue rescue from Kali Maya. Vaishnaver Gunogan Korile Jivetran. That's why I am bound to speak, it is written in Shastra. So, today I like to, you know, give Paspanjali unto the lotus feet of these great, great devotees, whom I can say safely is one kind of jewel. He was the, he was the rare jewel. He was the rare jewel in Gauriya Vaishnav, Saraswat Gauriya Vaishnav society, whom I can say safely the representative of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. Whom I can say safely, he is the representative of Prabhupada. Because in place, in place of Prabhupada, if we find Sadhananda Prabhu, if Prabhupada is absent, then 100% I am going to get same Siddhanta from Sadhananda Swami. But I cannot, you know, speak for everybody. For everybody I cannot speak. For everybody I cannot speak. So it's very so I can simply say is that representative of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada, or I would say he was the topmost representative of Gauriamat. From Gauriamat, 
if you ask me to say, you know, to find out and represent him, I can say is a topmost. Who never allowed, who never allowed any false Siddhanta, who never allowed any false Siddhanta, wrong Siddhanta, nothing. Shaji Abhav, I can go on speaking. It is Swadananda Swami who is going to bless me today because I like to remember his holy character, holy Siddhanta Bichar, pure. He used to say, all the Lila Vilas or transcendental Vilas, he used to say, all the transcendental Vilas of Radha Gavindo, he used to say, if somebody asking me to find out one suitable candidate, Sadhananda Swami speaking, Sadhananda speaking, Sivya Swami speaking, what to speak about here and there? What to speak about here and there? I cannot find even, even one candidate. In India, if I search in Saraswat Gauriya Vaishnava, there I can get some. So, he is not, not Sahajiya. He used to say it is strictly prohibited. He used to say it is strictly prohibited it is strictly prohibited to speak all this kind of secret siddhanta in, for, in front of those foolish people, those who are busy with, those who are contaminated with material karma. He used to say it is the instruction of Gauranga Mahapur, it is the instruction of Bhagavan Swayam. He used to say, so, so heavy. Actually, he took birth in the year of 1908. He took birth in the year of 1908. And, you know, he took birth from a big officer, government officer, who, who, who used to deal with financial matter of government. Treasure, treasure, you know, treasure, treasury. He was a big officer from a treasury, government treasury. You understand government treasury? I was big officer. And mother was doctorate. Doctorate. Father leave body in the year of 1919. Shatanand Swami took birth 1908. So from 1908, if you calculate up to 19, how many years? Very small boy. Father gone. Two years there, two years and maybe uh, eight, uh, uh, this time he took birth. So you will have to calculate because it's almost starting of January. You can take one year extra. So uh, three and there, uh, there, nine. Uh, there are nine, 19. Three and 19, no, only 20, 21. Eight gone, only here. Oh, ho. eight gone now. Nah, here and the three. Three and you know, nine. Three and nine, eleven. Eleven years. Eleven years only. Father gone. Motherly body, when uh, in the year of 1946. 1946. Mother was there. A little longer, one uh, he gone, and he was a very intelligent student, and looking, looking, so nice looking. You can see the picture. You see the picture, so nice looking. I like to see him all the time. So nice looking, so sharp nose, eyes, and there is depth in his in his sight. There is depth. Somebody looking, false looking. But somebody, Guru Vishnu, when looking, their, their eyesight is so deep, and as if, uh, if I look at him, as if so many meaning is there, mystery, so many mystery is there in his eyes. So nice. After that, graduation was done by him. Graduation. 
was done by in in the year of 1928 1928 graduation first class graduation first class so almost in the year of 20 or 21 20 20 years he done graduation complete after graduation he wanted to uh, he wanted to concentrate in the study of uh, comparative study of religion religion different religion buddhism this that so many comparative study he wanted to so he took admission in berlin university berlin university he took admission berlin university he was very much successful to complete so 28 in the year of 1928 he completed his graduation after that another four year i mean in the year of 1933 uh, almost over almost yes almost perfect i mean post graduation post graduation after that he was interested to you know make doctorate he wanted to make some comparative study of religion you know and in his life in his life uh, you know life is life history note actually in diary he is writing that right from the beginning of 1922 right from the beginning of 1922 i was very much interested to know about that absolute truth he writing in his diary right from the beginning of 1922 i was very much interested about that absolute truth what is that absolute truth where i can go how i can know where i can know? he wrote in his diary that i was all along all along i was very much less interested for worldly education for worldly education i was less interested from the very beginning worldly education i was less interested I wanted to know deep into the philosophy of those big, big spiritual leaders, so that I can get something cream. But I was hovering around. Christianity could not give me complete thing. Christianity could not give me complete thing. You know, Buddhism could not give me complete thing because there were so many question in me. When I like to search out Bible, when I to uh, go through, you know, Buddhi, you know, different books, I cannot find any answer. <coughs> I was not in a position to get perfect answer because there is some shortage. I cannot get complete answer. Only to search out all, only to search out that absolute truth, he was, you know, like mad. He used to collect very nice, nice books from different library here, there, buy different books. <coughs> and he, he got proficiency in English, German, Jewish language, Spanish, so many languages. So many languages, Greek language, so many languages. He could speak and read. Wonder. Wonder. You know, he started learning. All language he could speak. Finally, he started learning Sanskrit. Sanskrit, very. Pali, Pali. Pali language, you know? Pali language is ap applicable in there in Nepal. Pali. In the, in the time of Buddhist, Buddha, a Pali language was there. All 8, 10, 12 languages used to speak. Used to speak, what is the brain? I cannot calculate. Eh? Uh, he was very much interested. Very much interested. But 
not getting any perfect answer. He was supposed to, even Chinese, crude Chinese, I mean old Chinese language, old, previous, not modern Chinese. He was expert in Chinese language, Japanese language, and from, from Japanese, you know, Tokyo University, they invite him to give some lecture on religion, comparative study. He was uh, taking preparation. In the meantime, by chance, one friend from England going to give him gift, give him one gift, one book. That book is Sri Krishna Chaitanya. That book name. When he got the book, who is the writer? Nishikanta Sanal, Nishikanta Sanal, the great devotee of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Krishna. Nishikanta Sanal was the professor of Ravensa College, Katak. Was the professor, number one professor of Ravensa College, Katak. At the same time, he was a great Vaishnava. He took initiation from Prabhupada. I went to his house by chance because our Rishikesh Maharaj, Chaitanya Gauri Maharaj, is a disciple of Madhav, is very senior to me. Now he is not there. He sent me to the house of Nishikanta Sanra. Give me address, I went there. Maybe 22 years back, I went to his house. Now I cannot remember. Yeah, but he was not there. He already left body. I was very lucky. By reading that book, I mean Nishikanta Sanal. Who is Nishikanta Sanal? Immediately after getting that book, religious book, he started reading. After reading, he gone mad. Oh my God! Today I get solution. All solution I get. All solution. No doubt, no suspicion, nothing. Whatever you know, question I have, all answer there in this book. Now I am very happy. But is he wanted to contact with the writer of the book, Nishikanta Babu. Professor Nishikanta, who is Nishikanta? He wanted to contact with him. He wanted to contact, who is the guru? Who is that professor who can write such a great book? Maybe, who can write such a great book? Then we are very much interested, who is the, then who is the, who is the guru? That is the way, who can write this book? He is such a great man, and what is the status of his guru? I like to know the guru. See, well, immediately he started to contact with Nishikanta Sanyal. He wanted to contact with Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Jagat Prabhupada. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Jagat Prabhupada wanted to contact with his the guru. He wanted to contact with the guru of Nishikanta Sanal and with Nishikanta Sanal itself. When he contact Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Jagat Prabhupada giving advice, but that because that time there was no such facility, mobile, this, that, nothing. Even in our time, there was no mobile. Only trunk call, these old system. You will have to wait. Oh, it will take hours. <laughs> but now, all fast. He is waiting. Popat going to advise him, you can stay there in your country and around your country, because it, it, German is European country. European. So, in England, here and there, some Gauriya devotees, you can meet with them. Popa suggesting, better, better before coming to India, you go and get the association of some devotees from Gauriya mission, you can mix with them. And try to realize what is the depth of this philosophy, everything, and then you can come to India, not before that. Then naturally, he was successful to get in contact with, eh? With Bhakti Pradip Tito Maharaj. Bhakti Pradip Tito Maharaj, he was successful, a great devotee. He was successful to meet with Banadev Goswami Maharaj, Sila Bhakti Hida Banadev Goswami Maharaj, the number one preacher of Gauriya philosophy. Very much interested. 
He was anyway, he was great learned man. English, Hindi, German, all language. See, so he wanted to help. He wanted to help Bhakti Pradip Titha Maharaj. He wanted to help Bhakti Pradip Titha Maharaj in his translation of Bhagavad Gita from Bengali to English. He started helping. Well, past language in English, German, everything. Sanskrit also. Finally, okay, what happened? Finally, what happens? Finally, he came in contact with Bhakti Hidha, Banadev Goswami Maharaj. Banadev Goswami Maharaj was very powerful. So, he started helping him. He started helping him for his you know, preaching in around this European country, his continent. All around this you know, European continent, he started helping Banavasa. He was there with Banamaja. Banamaja is going to pass lecture somewhere. So, this great devotee is also going. Finally, he wanted to come to India very quickly. Papa was going, no. First of all, you get, go and get association. So, by the advice of Srila Prabhupada, he was bound to hear, hear Harinam Mantra and get the actual mala. Mala. Allah the japa done by Prabhupada. Try to understand. Because it's long distance, na? From German, India. So he wanted to send japa mala, japa mala in a packet. Post up his packet. Japa mala, Prabhupada. Chanting and sending in the name of this. This Prabhu. And Banagosema anyway going to speak some Harinam. And his Harinam was there in the Goryamat, which was established in England. In England, there is one Goryamat. At the time of Prabhupada, it was established by Bhakti Pradip Sita Maharaj and Ban Maharaj. There. In England, there is one Goryamat, originally. So, in that temple, he received Harinam from preliminary, Harinam from Ban Maharaj, and received the Mala from Prabhupada. Follow? And the name given by Prabhupada, wa, the name given to him was Sadhananda, Swa, Sadhananda Prabhu. Sadhananda means ever joyful. Sadhananda means ever joyful. Ever joyful. Really so. So he started helping these two great devotees and at the same time he started helping Gauriya mission preaching he started helping massive way. He started helping Gauriya mission preaching massive way. Everywhere. After getting Harinam, everything, he was very much interested to meet the Guru. I mean Prabhupada. To meet Prabhupada. He was very much interested. But in the meantime, whenever he got the clue, Whenever he got the clue, oh, this is the only way. Whenever he got the clue, oh, this is the only way, the absolute way. He started, you know, under the guidance of Ban Maharaj, Tito Maharaj Prabhupada, he started, you know, going through all different philosophies. Whole night. Whole night. Sleeping only one hour, one and a half hour. Whole night. Under the guidance of Ban Maharaj, Tito Maharaj and, you know, Prabhupada, he started reading. Oh! And he was a very learned man. Very, very powerful man. So anyway, after that, when, when Bana Maharaj came in the year of, you know, and 1935, I think. 1935. 1935, he came in India, uh, uh, September, September, month September, he came to meet with Gurudev. After watching Gurudev, he fall down on ground. He is a Guru. Aha. He is a Guru. Aha. Such a great Vaishnava. After looking, Vaishnava is such, if you look at Vaishnava, you can get some power, purity. Oh, very nice. He started praying, crying. Prabhupada blessed him. And after that, he got mantra. Harinam Mahamantra already got. Uh, again, Harinam Mahamantra you can hear two times. There is no restriction. Suppose uh, I am hearing Harinam from somebody, 
to Harinam, you can hear. So Prabhupada also giving Harinam and Diksha all. Harinam is allowed. It's no, no problem, no, not of wrath. Anyway, so got mantra. He took resolution to stay with Prabhupada to learn so many things. And Prabhupada, after looking at Sadhananda Prabhu, Prabhupada, after looking at Sadhananda Prabhu, could realize, could realize a great depth, depth there in this body. Prabhupada is not foolish. After looking at Sadhananda Prabhu, he could realize a great depth. And Prabhupada giving instruction to him, you can go on hearing Harikatha and go on, you know, writing article. You see, how possible? How possible? Whereas some devotee coming 20 years over, Prabhupada not asking him to write article. How possible? Prabhupada, it is your duty, Prabhupada giving seva, right here. Sadhananda Swami, my Guru Padma speaking, that Prabhupada give me this seva. It is your seva to translate all different, you know, Sanskrit or English into German language for the benefit of German world. Follow. You know so many Jewish language, you know so many. So it is your main seva to translate. And you can go on writing articles. So you can find, if you go through a harmonist, if, a, if you can go through a harmonist, if you can go through a harmonist, you can find so many important articles written by Sadhananda Swami. Not a matter of joke. One, one article, one, one article can change your whole life. One, one article, you go through, uh, you know, Sajjan Tassani, a uh, uh, harmonist. One, one article, what is the inner meaning? You know, what is the inner meaning? Society, community, Gauriya Mart, one article. We publish now already. You can go mad if you read. The how possible for Sadhananda Swami to realize this step? I mean, what Popat planning, what Popat is supposed to write, he can write. Very important if you go, you can understand, you can understand all the black holes. You can understand, not that black holes, as Anna, not a scientist, you know, that not. You can find all black holes there in our Vaishnava society. You can uh, You can find all black holes there, here and there, all around. If you go through the article. So, scientific article. It can give a change in your life. Oh, so nice. So, he started writing. And under the guidance of Prabhupada, he started, you know, deep research. I mean, deep concentration in all Sanskrit works. Sanskrit works, all. Different philosophy, this, that, all started. Comparative statement, this, that. And by the order of Prabhupada, he was successful to give lectures. And anyway, he was a big professor, now. He used to give lectures. Very nice lectures. Very nice. Everybody expecting to hear Sadhananda Swami. Everybody expecting to hear Sadhananda Swami when he can speak something. But anyway, it is the arrangement of Krishna to show us. It is the arrangement of Krishna to show us that how much patience, how much tolerance and patience a devotee can have. So uh, he was in quarantine, you know, there in world war that time. But after actually, not before. When Prabhupada already there, that time not. World War started after. Not that time. After that. So, when he came to Prabhupada and crying and speaking, Prabhupada, I'm coming from European country. If I could take birth in India, if I could get the association of these Indian people, Indian culture, everything, then it would have been far better. He was expressing very deep you know, concern, very, that I took birth there. I know nothing. Then Prabhupada was very angry. Don't speak like that. 
Don't speak like that. It is your, it is your extra advantage. It is, it is your extra advantage that you did not take birth in India. Because if you could take birth in India, you could learn so many rubbish things in the name of bhajan all, you know, all different. Better, it is the arrangement of Bhagavan. It is the arrangement of Bhagavan. You know nothing about all these dirty things. What is happening here in the name of bhajan? Why you are crying? It is the arrangement of Bhagavan. Don't cry. You can learn from Bhagavan directly. It is good. Otherwise, you, you could learn all dirty things. You could learn all dirty things. No, don't cry. Or power coming from up. So, follow. This way, Prabhupada giving it. And one day, Prabhupada in front of some devotees, one day in front of some devotees, very elevated devotees, Prabhupada speaking to Sadhananda Swami, Sadhananda Prabhu, Sadhananda, you and me all along been in this eternal world. Eternal world. You and me both. Speaking. So clearly, so clearly, so clearly we never heard Popat passing this kind of remark for anybody. So clearly. Sadhananda, you and me for, you know, have been there in eter eternal world. For long. This way, Prabhupada giving instruction to him, first of all, when he came, I am going up and down. So, Prabhupada one day speaking to Sadhananda Swami. First of all, what you have to do, what, what I will have to do? Sadhananda Swami is there in front of Prabhupada, nobody there. Prabhupada giving instruction. So, first of all, you will have to do one thing. What one thing? Whatever you learned, whatever you have learned in your life, whatever you hear from anybody, whatever conception you are fostering inside your heart, taking care, whatever conception you have, whatever relationship you have anybody, any experiences, first of all, you go and go to uh, put in a big bag, all. Garbage and go to a deep ocean where the water is 20,000 leagues under the sea. You can throw there. First of all, first of all, you have to do and start anew and start anew. All you throw, all useless. You are stunned. Well, I, what I learned, all I, yes, all you throw. Useless. He has to start anew from here. Very loyal. He started making note of any Prabhupada giving any lecture. Prabhupada giving any lecture, he used to make note, always. On the basis of that, he used to write article, the great Guru Seva. Ramanujacharya also speaking. You don't know, nobody discussed this point. Ramanujacharya speaking, if you like to get success this life, this life, and suppose you are going to get Sadguru in your life. So every day, at least one hour, you will have to glorify your Gurudev. Every day. Ramanujaja is speaking, if you like to come out successful in your life, every day at least one hour, you go on glorifying your Gurudev. You try to grow through the writing of Gurudev. Daily. Follow. So the same thing, our Sadhananda Swami used to do. He has to make note and everything every day. After that, actually in the year of 1935, uh, 1935, September, from then onward up to 1st January of 1937, this much time he got to get the association of Prabhupada. But the real mystery is there that he is the eternal person of Prabhupada, he told. So how I can speak this? How I can speak this way? How I can speak this way that he got the chance 
uh, of you know, Guru Sangha, Satsangha, only 1935, September up to 1st January. I am not even 1st January. Even 1st January, Pope was going to leave body. We cannot speak this. Very short period. He got the association of Prabhupada. I cannot speak this way. Because Prabhupada himself wanted to indicate that he is the eternal, he is my eternal parsad. So this kind of magic spell. After Prabhupada gone, some problem took place everywhere, this kind of everywhere where there is a huge property, huge, you know, deep philosophy, deep bhajan, automatically some problem can happen. Then Sadananda Swami was very sorry. He took decision to travel from Badrikasram, Himalaya, where I go, in the Tibbat, Tibbat, Tibbat border. China, Tibbat, Tibbat border. From there, I also been there many times in Himalaya, different places. Even in China border, Tibbat border, so many places. Now I am not going, no time. Long ago, when I was young, <laughs> full blood boiling, <laughs> I went there. So, also now boiling also. <laughs> now also boiling. Anyway, so there also, he is taking darshan of Badinar from there all up to extreme south. I mean, Rameshwaram. Rameshwaram, Madras, Madurai. He is traveling all around. Most of the time traveling. Car, okay. Some typical position, but most of the time. And all his trip from north, extreme north to extreme south was to understand the overall position of Indian darshan, Indian darshan, Bharatiya darshan to realize different, different sadhu coming, discussing something, speaking, exchanging. Finally, after the whole trip is over, over Indian, over, all over India. By remembering, by remembering Gurudev. But translation also going on. Translation going on. When he come back to Allahabad, when he, when he come back to Allahabad, some big, big professor and elevated personalities, they wanted to invite him to pass lecture on comparative study of religion in Allahabad University. By their request, by their request, he was bound to go and pass nice, they have very, very important lectures. One of his lecture, one of his lecture is you know, about Gauriya Vaishnav Darshan. It's one kind of evolution. He passed lecture about Gauriya Vaishnav Darshan. If you go through that book, you can go mad. How possible a man to write this? It was one kind of evolution. He passed, you know, he gave lecture on Gauriya Vaishnav Darshan. Even those who are there in Gauriya Mart for 50 years, 30 years, 90 years, or 80 years, they cannot write like that. So many write. Follow. So, he was, you know, successful to write so many books, but he was very great Vaishnava. He never used to write directly. He used to write note and he used to give to Bamandash, one of his disciples, whose age, whose age, he is much senior than Gurudev. Bamandev is over 80 years. And uh, whereas Sadananda Sami is not even seven, 70, chiding that disciple, Hey, you have done this, you have done this, make mistake. <laughs> Very heavy firing, Bamanda's hearing. Bamanda is not speaking anything. Making mistake in translation, I'm making mistake. And Gurudev speaking heavily. <laughs> Bamanda hearing with folded hand. Gurudev, what mistake I have done? And Bamanda was a good writer, so he used to give all the essays, writing everything directly to him, and he used to publish. That was a blessing. Anyway, he wrote one book. He wrote one book. Sri Chaitanya. Sri Chaitanya, only one book he wrote. It was translated into German, was published. Very, very deep philosophy. Sri Chaitanya. Okay. 
Sri Sri Chaitanya, only one book. Under the guidance of one Maharaj and Chitamara, all he published. You know. Anyway, our Prabhupada gone. Up to 1961, he was in India. He ne never wanted to go away. But first of all, in the beginning of World War, Second World War, he was uh, sent into quarantine. I mean, you know. So government not allowed because he has a, only German visa. So you have to stay here. So about three, four years where world war going through three, four years. So he was bound to stay there. Facing so many problems regarding how to eat, how to worship Bhagavan. Oof! Even I cannot imagine. When the corona second wave came, I was in Bindavan. So everybody is saying corona is over. I uh, now somebody is speaking corona starting. Uh, eh? Corona starting, then I can go. Then they make ticket, I come up to Bardhaman. The train is not going to stop. And if I go to Hara station, they can put in quarantine. I can die. Nobody can touch me. How I can stay? <laughs> so I jump from the train in Bardhaman. A train was slow. Train was slow. I with luggage I jump. And by the mercy of Bhagavan, from there I get a car and come. Otherwise, they are supposed to send me in quarantine. <laughs> How I can nobody touch my water body? <laughs> it's the arrangement of Bhagavan. Bhagavan no, he can die. He's going to quarantine. Not due to corona, but due to excessive, you know, treatment given by those foolish. So, but Sadhananda Sami, you see, how possible for three, four years? I say. After that, he was made free. After that, in the year of 1950, he got Indian citizenship. In the year of 1950, he got Indian citizenship. So he was allowed. German citizen already there. And also he got Indian citizenship. He was to, up to 1961, he was there. But after that, due to, due to excessive, due to excessive, you know, seva, Excessive seva. He was never, he never wanted to take care of body. Never. Regarding fooding, lodging, you know, nothing. So actually, body is body. The body going to break down. From 1961, his body, 62, 63. So now, some Swiss, 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 you know, students, devotees, they took decision to get Gurudev, I mean, Sadhanam Sabi, to their country. Base, you know, a vessel. Their treatment was done, because Indian treatment was not successful. He was there for a long time, in Indian Medical College Hospital. But the treatment was not good. Finally, doctors say, you, this treatment is impossible, by your treatment we cannot do. Finally, he was, vessel, he went there, from there, the treatment was there, but some sort of fever always there inside. Nobody knows. This way, day by day, body going to, you know, body deteriorating, deteriorating condition. I mean, breaking condition, deteriorating condition. But still, from Swiss University, Switzerland, here, there, or from university, there is a huge engagement. All Everybody asking, you come, our student like to hear from you. He wanted to go. Previously, he used to give so many lectures in different universities. Even in India, all different universities. Here and there, he used to speak. But finally, when body, you know, not permitting, he used to go summer season, summer season, summer. Summer season he used to go, but finally also he stopped. All announcement, pre-announcement, all pre-announcement, all students, they are dancing. Sadhana Swami can come and pass lecture and give. But finally, he couldn't go. He wanted to send Bamandas to go on his behalf. And, all. and also, after Prabhupada gone, it is written, and uh, he took sannyas. But what sannyas name, I don't know, not written there. He took sannyas. Sannyas means actually, he was actually sannyas. To be frank, 
according to the advice of Bhagavan Sri Krishna and Gita, according to the advice of Gita, according to the advice of Bhagavad, he was already sannyasi. Though externally you cannot see one danda, but he was real sannyas. He was real sannyas. Actual sannyas. Who never thought about any karma. Karma, you know, enjoyment, sense enjoyment. He was actual sannyas. He was really original sannyas. Follow. So, there was shortage of funds, there was no money, because he never used to keep you know, money in bank, nothing, whatever, then pocket open. Finally, those students, they opened one you know, announcement, Shadananda fund, for his bad health. For his bad health. So, they all, you know, giving some, some, some donation, by the help of the donation, there was a penniless almost. So great Vaishnava. I, I, I am sometimes, you know, expressing, you know, deep, you know, sorry. That if I could meet him, but I am unlucky I couldn't meet him. Because long ago, in the year of 1977, he lived body. That time I was only boy, small boy. Not possible for me. So this way, you know, treatment going on. At the same time, his translation is not stopped. He is not going to stop translation because it is the order of Sila, Gurudev, Prabhupada. He go on translating. All different translation, writing, and you know, article. Countless article he wrote. Countless article you can find. Countless article. He used to send here and there. But personally, he never wanted to, you know, project himself. That was the main thing. Such a great devotee, such a great devotee is really great. <laughs> but he never wanted to project himself. But at present, very small, small man. I am the great. You are the great. But he never wanted to expose himself. He went to Assam also. He went to Assam and Bangladesh, some portion there. To preach there, go hearty here, there, there also, to teach there, so many, you know, preaching was, his preaching was really wonderful preaching. His preaching was really wonderful. If you could see him, I am not making any story, if you could meet him directly, then you could realize. But we are very bad luck, we couldn't meet him. You know, he, very bad luck. He used to express deep, you know, uh, you know, Trinadha Vibhav. I am the only useless disciple of Prabhupada who is not from Indian origin. He used to express uh, out of humble attitude. Out of humble attitude, he used to say, I am not from Indian origin. I am actually outside. You know, I am useless. I am the only useless. I am the only useless disciple. I am the only useless disciple of Prabhupada. But he is the number one useful disciple of Prabhupada. He can speak this way. We cannot, that's why in the starting I told you, na, to understand a Vaishnava, never try to, you know, your calculation, material calculation cannot come out successful. He took birth in German, so what? Who took birth in Jama and so what? In India, if we gather one crore Brahman, still they cannot be equal to one Sadananda Prabhu. One Sadananda Prabhu can never be compared with crores of Brahman here in our society. It's true. How I can say? So in a Vaishnav, in a Vaishnav, all qualities there. All qualities, all qualities, all, you know, is so, so heavy, all qualities there, is full. So, simply by, simply by, uh, simply by this information, simply by receiving this kind of information that he took birth in German, I should not pass any remark. 
I want to be a dog of Sadananda Swami to take his uchista. I am in Vyasasan, I am speaking. Very much interested. I want to be one dog of Sadananda Swami to take uchista, his uchista. This is the, you know, this is the truth, absolute truth. So, if somebody is going to say, then in Goryamat all useless, I cannot give honour to him. So, great, great devotees, for a long time I was requesting them all, that for the past so many years, I am speaking about all Guru Vaishnava, you must give the picture of Guru Vaishnava, they are not giving. At present they started. Only one, one month ago they started giving. But long time I started, it is very easy, they are so lazy, they don't like to give. At least whole world should know what kind of jewels are there in Gauriyamat, who are the great devotees of Gauriyamat, or the jewels of Prabhupada. They are mispeaching, they can preach wrong, out of jealousy, they can do whatever they can speak. But truth is always truth. Truth is always truth, they can speak lie. What it concerned to us? So many Harikatha, hundreds of Harikatha on Guru Vaishnava, but you are not giving picture. Whole world should know who is Sadhananda Swami, who is Siddhar, Siddhar Maharaj, who is, you know, Kesav Goswami, they should know. They should know to purify themselves. Only by speaking in the morning time, Jaya Sadhananda Swami, I can get purified. I believe. Morning time I am speaking His name, all Vaishnava's name. The, this much belief I have to purify myself. I am con contaminated, no? I like to purify myself by speaking the name of all Guru Vaishnava. Always I am speaking. When even Archan, all Guru Varga, among all Guru Varga, I am, I am worshipping Sadhananda Swami daily. After Annik, I am worshipping all Guru Vaishnava, all deities of Gurudev. It's my daily schedule. I am not making you sorry. So, so next Harikatha, when uh, Tirubhapti can come, I can go on discussing some philosophy, uh, I mean some, you know, darshanik vichar of Sadhana Swami. I can speak someday. Anyway, today, actually time cannot permit, today I am going to stop here. Jasyasti Bhagavati, Jasyasti Bhakti Bhagavati Akinchana, Jasyasti Bhakti Bhagavati Akinchana, Sarva Guna is Tatro Shama Shati Suraha Haru Abakta Sakuto Mahadguna Mano Rathena Sato Dabato Vahi Vancha Kalpatur was sick of passing the Vajpatidan and Pavanabo Vishnu Bio Namo Joy Sila Sadan Swami, my Guru Path Padmoki Jaiho. Whenever you forget any Akadashi, suppose you forget, then you will have to do some. Next day you will have to do upavas. If you some, suppose you forget, you will have to do upavas. Or in Purnima day, full day, without water. Otherwise, great uh, offense.